this is the vortex tunnel. So this is uh, when I first started haunting. This is the between this and the claustrophobic tunnel is the one thing that I wanted all my life. Uh, so rather than dropping ten grand on it, this is the one where we we came up with some ingenuity and and made it ourselves. Oh yeah, the, the squeaking is a good touch. That was just kind of yeah, kind of by accident. But this is uh, so this is a vortex tunnel. Unfortunately, video doesn't do it as much justice as what you would get just walking in here. But if you kind of look at the floor and just stare down, you can feel yourself wanting to wanting to spin over. It's kind of a okay. So what we got here, claustrophobic tunnel, and this is basically to simulate being being squeezed alive, uh, kind of like uh, a lot of people are claustrophobic in their in their life, and you're doing getting in tight spaces that you gotta try to get through. And this is it's almost like the feeling of a of like suffocating, or almost like a almost what you would think that like drowning would be. It doesn't take very long to, to fill them up, but then you try to go. Those dolls that I've gone through to all the garage sales, DAVs, and I picked up all the dolls. Pretty much myself. Yeah. I had a lady that uh, she came. <laughs> she's out of the blue. She's like, "Can I take your picture?" Uh, I guess so. She's like, well, "I don't want to seem weird." She goes, "But I, I don't know. You don't normally see somebody." This is what are they, all the students use to, to practice cutting hair. And then once they're done cutting the hair, then we cut the scalps and, <laughs> and bloody them up. In the past, we've used real meat, and that gets, uh, that gets a little 